Obama's $300 million secret is out exposing him for sick thing he spent wads of treason money on, because the American taxpayer isn't burdened enough already it's now being reported that even though we are rebuilding the cesspool that is Afghanistan, we also seem to be paying ghost soldiers. To the tune of $300 million during the President Barack Hussein Obama administration. Under the Obama administration over half of the Afghan security forces have been shown to be ghost soldiers. Which means we, the American taxpaying idiot, is paying for people who don't. Why are we even paying for anything? These people harbored the Taliban and we should have turned their whole cesspool of a nation into a huge glass factory the very night of the 9-11 attacks. Are we really this well off as a nation that we can afford to waste money on this? Enough with the nation building. What's the point in even going into war if all we are going to do is provide the nation we destroyed a better infrastructure than what they had before the war? Isn't the point of a war to just knock out an opponent? Not make him better than what he was before the war? The world has gone mad. Fox News reports, U.S. taxpayers spent $150 million building fancy, hotel-like villas staffed with private security for government employees working in Afghanistan rather than having them live on U.S. military bases at a fraction of the cost, according to the top government watchdog charged with monitoring wartime waste. The lead oversight team auditing U.S. spending in Afghanistan said Thursday the Pentagon's Task Force for Stability and Business Operations spent 20% of its budget on private housing and security guards for a handful of employees who could have lived on U.S. military bases for little or no extra charge. We are concerned that this may be another example of U.S. government officials not looking out for American taxpayers' dollars, John F. Sopko Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction We are concerned that this may be another example of U.S. government officials not looking out for American taxpayers' dollars, John Sopko, Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, Cigar, told FoxNews.com. The Department of Defense employees worked for the now-defunct Task Force for Stability and Business Operations known as TIFPSO or the Task Force the DOD's premier program to kickstart the Afghan economy. The $150 million spent on the villas and private security supported only a handful and no more than 5 to 10 TIFPSO staff members the majority of the time, according to SOPCO. In a November 25 letter to Defense Secretary Ashton Carter, SOPCO requested information on the task force's decision to spend nearly a fifth of its budget on the villas and security. From 2010 through 2014, Congress appropriated approximately $822 million to TIFPSO for Afghanistan, of which the task force spent approximately $766 million. Cigar's preliminary review indicates that TIFPSO leadership rented specially furnished, privately owned villas and hired contractors to provide 24-hour building security, food services, and bodyguards for TIFPSO staff and visitors traveling in the country, Sopko wrote. If TIFPSO employees had instead lived at Dodd facilities in Afghanistan, where housing, security, and food service are routinely provided at little or no extra charge to Dodd organizations, it appears the taxpayers would have saved tens of millions of dollars. Sopko's latest inquiry comes as part of a broader investigation into allegations of financial misuse and criminal activity within the task force, which ended in March 2015. In a report published last month, Cigar found the Dodd spent $43 million to build a gas station in Afghanistan that should have cost roughly $500,000. According to Cigar, each room at the villas was equipped with luxuries, including a flat screen TV a DVD player and mini refrigerator. An investor villa with upgraded furniture and western-style hotel accommodations was also provided to TIFPSO personnel, Cigar noted. While Cigar said it could not determine what it would have cost for TIFPSO employees to live at the U.S. Embassy, it estimated that for 2014 a staff of 10 would have paid roughly $1.8 million to live there. Sopko said the decision to build the costly villas appears to have been made by Paul Brinkley, former deputy under Secretary of Defense and the task force's first director. Sopko said Brinkley has not cooperated with his office's request for information. Brinkley, who now runs a private Dubai-based business development firm, disputed Sopko's claim, saying in an email to foxnews.com, 
I have not been contacted by the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction regarding the questions raised in the letter to the Department of Defense since I departed government service almost five years ago, but would be happy to meet and discuss these topics. The Task Force for Business and Stability Operations operated under the authority and oversight of the Secretary of Defense and ISAF Command during my tenure, said Brinkley, who left TIFPSO in June 2011. Its unique operating posture operating outside of military or diplomatic installations was elemental to its successes and was clearly sanctioned by Pentagon leadership as well as the Congress, and covered in a variety of media reports, GAO assessments, and think tank studies. When I ran the task force, we had one mission, help bring normalcy to Afghanistan by encouraging sustained economic growth and employment for the Afghan people and the creation of an Afghan middle class, he said. Everything we did was focused on that goal, which is critical to Afghanistan's ability to someday finance its own security and development needs without U.S. taxpayer support. Department of Defense spokesman, Army Lt. Col. Joe Sowers, acknowledged receipt of SOPCO's November 25th letter to Carter but he declined to comment further about the matter. We have received the recent letter from Sigar and will respond, Sowers told FoxNews.com. The TIFPSO was originally created by the DOD to revitalize Iraq's economy after the U.S.-led invasion in 2003. The program was redirected to Afghanistan in 2009 to lead projects supporting economic development. A former TIFPSO official, speaking on background, said many of the locations where task force employees worked in Afghanistan lacked any U.S. military of civilian installations. Where appropriate or necessary we did operate on military installations, including Camp Leatherneck in Helmand Province and at Kandahar Airfield, the former official told FoxNews.com. Our operational construct was approved by the entire chain of command, from the Secretary of Defense to the combatant commander. In an interview last month, Sopko told FoxNews.com his office has received numerous allegations of criminal activity by the task force from former employees as well as current and former uniformed officers who worked over there, other agencies and contractors. He declined to elaborate on the specifics of the accusations. A former TIFPSO employee, who spoke to FoxNews.com on condition of anonymity, described the villas as hangouts for senior DOT officials who traveled to Afghanistan simply to accumulate flying miles. They just came in and didn't do anything but hang out in the villa, the source said. Are you freaking kidding me? Villas too? Have American politicians taken the time to look at the U.S. infrastructure? Our bridges are crumbling. Our rail systems are from the 19th century and our roads look like they have been through multiple bombings. We hardly have enough money to feed and house our own people but we instead rebuild cesspools? I have lived abroad multiple times in my life. Most Latin American nations have a saying, at least the ones I am familiar with, los gringos estupidos, or the stupid gringos. I never really understood why people would laugh at such a great and generous nation like our USA. Now I get it completely. Maybe if I wasn't a taxpayer with so much skin in the game I would probably be laughing too. Instead. I'll just keep crying every time I think about the $20 trillion national debt. If you're sick and tired of politicians giving away our money to nations that hate us please share. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.